What's your unusual love story? Do you have one of those stories? It's 9970JX. Elizabeth, uh, she's not a listener. She's getting some attention from Inside Edition. Also she, not your wife. Yeah, yeah, right. Exactly, right. I have a wife, <laughs> Elizabeth, too. Not her. Not her. So she heard rats in her mom's guest room and called the exterminator. Chad arrived, and despite, despite both of them being in a relationship, after she wound up breaking up with her boyfriend, she kept kind of thinking about the exterminator Chad. Chad, the hot exterminator? Yeah, who came through and ridded her mom's guest room of rats. I opened the door, and I was like kind of taken aback so i was just kind of like you're not from terminix are you and he's like read my shirt yes i am like they say it was love at first sight (laughs) i just started texting all my friends like secret photos of him one text read chad the exterminator is super hot not gonna lie Mm. i was like is it like a sign that I am attracted to the Terminex guy. Her friends <laughs> gave the exterminator a nickname. Rat Slayer. Rat Slayer. Rat I was Slayer? taken back as well. I mean, look at her. She's gorgeous. Yeah. So they wound up um, connecting over Instagram and now they're dating. That is is amazing over rats over rats and i mean she's cute and yeah he's cute (laughs) like i get it they're cute together and yeah you don't expect that i mean we don't expect that we've talked about stories of you know the um you know service people coming by and like doing work on the house and then doing work on the customer too. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. But this is, I mean, this, what a, what a story, right? Like what that's a, so great. What rat a, slayer. What an unusual love story that they had. You know, they were both dating someone, and then when it, when time came, you know, for them to break up and then look for new people, it was like, well, literally, love showed up at her door. Yeah, <laughs> that is adorable. Um. So what was your unusual love story? Uh, did get a message from Beth, found out that a guy I had a crush on in high school, never told him, went to the same college I attended out of state. He was a grade below me, and we just bumped into each other at a party off campus. We're now dating. That's, oh, that's, that's like serendipitous. It is. That's, it that, is. That's, that's fate bringing you guys back yeah, together. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and then we'll, <laughs> one more, but Amy. it's, but it's from Amy. <laughs> Amy. Amy. She said, my husband and I met on the comment section of a naughty website. Amy! <laughs> The comment what is, section. What is happening? They found love in the comment section of a naughty website. Like, wait, you sassy. I'm sassy. Oh, I OMG. know. Maybe our sassy selves should get oh, together sometime. Stop. <laughs> Hilarious. That is that is funny. Uh, that's good. But yeah, yeah, love um, over rats. That Um, is unexpected. Yeah, unexpected for sure. I will say this. My husband and I actually were at the same wedding reception Mm -hmm. years before we met. Really? Yeah. We we were with other people. Actually never met each other there, but we discovered later after we started dating, we were both at that same reception. That is so crazy. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Yeah. That never interacted so, at that at that you know inter, at that right. wedding reception, but right. I later mean, I mean, what, found out. Oh my gosh, I was there. I, I yeah, and you know, at the time, even if you would have seen him, it would have been like you, you probably wouldn't would, have thought anything of it. Just exactly, because, because I was with a date, he was with a date. Yes, yeah. yes, exactly. That is so wild. I know. I know. I know. Kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, I don't know if you've got an interesting um story or not, but you can feel free to share five zero two seven nine five one ninety nine seven unusual place where you found love and it was because um a couple people elizabeth and not my wife elizabeth from san diego yeah elizabeth and chad uh they got together after chad was the exterminator and helped her get rid of rats and she thought he cute he cute and so later they wound up hooking up and now they're dating 
Um, some other stories. Uh, Haley was like, I don't remember meeting my husband in January at college at a party. We officially met two months later in March. I mentioned how crazy it was we never met despite hanging out at, the, at his fraternity. He told me we'd had a conversation in January I have no recollection of. Oh. 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 Well, oopsies. Oh. <laughs> oopsies. Like someone was dull wrong. <laughs> right, right. Maybe. Exactly. Maybe. I mean, could be. Uh, another message. I met my husband in high school after we got together. We discovered he was cousins with one of my good friends. And his dad was the uncle to the lady that married my dad's cousin. Oh, my I gosh. Thought, oh, no. But all good. We're not kin. <laughs> okay, oh, good, good, good. Not related. All right. That's all legal. Oh, shoot. Good stuff. Uh, Cindy wrote, my massage therapist invited uh, um, uh, me at the time, uh, at my time, the wi- my wife, to bring my daughter to a birthday party for her daughter, which was hosted at her ex-husband's house. Um, she didn't go. But in return, we invited her and her kids to my daughter's birthday a month later. She had her ex-husband attend so he could take the kids home with him in the evening and she could stay for drinks and fire with the other adults. Three years later, he's my fiance. Look at that. Yeah, those fun little unusual ways that uh, you got love. Um, Still, though, my fave is probably Amy's. Meeting her husband in the comment section on a naughty website. (laughs) What the heck? Now I'm just curious what what's I'm what curious website. what website and then what was commented. Right. Right? Oh my goodness. So many questions still need to be answered.